Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. The diagram shows a diode bridge, bridge rectification circuit and a load resistor. So bridge rectification circuit is another kind of a variation for the rectification. So it is used to produce a smoothened output. Okay, I would be explaining you um, a bit later. The input is a sinusoidal signal as usual. Which of the following circuit will produce the most smoothed output signal? Okay, dear students. So this question is completely from the theory part only. And so clearly I can see that C will be the answer because what happens is like this is the um, circuit for the full wave rectifier and we use a capacitor here in parallel to the load resistance to create a smoothened output. Let me explain you this thing. So there are two um, uh, things that can be explained here. Number one is this circuit, what is happening here. So this circuit is somewhat like this. Uh, Yeah, like this and the power source is between these two ends so i'm taking this alternating cross like this and the resistor is between these two so let me just put this resistor like this you can place the resistor anywhere like they have dragged the resistor out of the circuit and they are just using long wires that is the only difference i am using the shortest wire that is the only thing so there is no difference between this and this Okay, there is no capacitor here anyways, and there is no capacitor even in this diagram. So these two diagrams are actually the same things. Now, what is happening, you see? So once we say that this end is positive and this end is negative for the first half cycle, so I can say the current will be flowing like this. Like this, it will go like this. So at this junction, the current has two options to go, either into the right direction or the left direction. But this diode is reverse biased, so this diode will say, I will not let you enter because diode is a one way gateway. So this current can pass only and only through this resistor. So current is going to enter like this. It will be passed like this. But at this junction, again, there are two wires. This is a junction. But even this diode will say that I will not let the current enter into this in this manner. So current has to pass through the resistor. It will go like this and then it will go like this. And gradually the current is coming back to the circuit. So this is how the current flows. And the point to be noted is that the current in the resistor is going towards the right direction. That is one thing that you have to note. So the input signal, I can say, just a moment. Yeah, so the input signal for us is this. And for first half, we have got our output. And now we are going to concentrate on the second half. So on the second half, it is becoming this is becoming negative and this is becoming positive. Now let us see what is happening to the current. So the current is going like this, like this. At this junction, again, it is having two options. But this diode is not in the mood to give the way to the current. So obviously the current will going to enter like this. And at this junction again, the diode is saying no. So the current enters into this, like this, like this, like this. And this is the way that current gets back to the source. So now you can again see that yes, the current is passing through the resistor and this time also it is passing only in the right direction. So obviously we are getting another output here. So this negative current which was going into the negative direction has been converted into the positive cycle. So in both of the ways, in both of the half cycles, we are having current which is moving in the same direction. So clearly we have converted the alternating current into DC current. So this is the formation of full wave rectifier sorry full wave rectifier and this is how it works so this is a kind of output that we are getting but we are talking about a smoothening curve now so now what the hell is happening here now is the change which is happening so try to understand what is happening now so i am going to diode bridge rectification now so now what we do is so this is the resistor so i am drawing the output very carefully now let us say this is the output. Yeah, let's say this is the output now. So this is the this is up to half and this is up to half. So this is the output that we are getting like this. And we want to smoothen it. 
So how are we smoothening it? Listen to this. So what we do, we apply a capacitor here in parallel like this. And this is exactly the circuit that is given in the C option. So C option is correct. So now in this circuit, what is happening? There is a capacitor here. Now what happens? Now, when we are charging, and let us say you are at this position, the, the potential difference across the point X and point Y is maximum, like it is at the amplitude, so the capacitor gets charged. And let us assume that this is positive and this is negative. I'm just assuming it. It will be a variable according to the cycle. Let us just assume that this end is becoming positive, this is negative. Now what happens? Now this voltage starts reducing, but the capacitor is now having this much of the voltage. So capacitor is at higher voltage, but the source voltage is now reducing. It means that capacitor is now in a more powerful position. So capacitor will start sending the current instead of the source. So this current will move into this because the diodes are in the opposite section, so uh, direction, so the current will not be able to move through that. So the the current is not going into the circuit, but this current goes into the output. Okay, so the resistor is getting uh, the current even now, although the current should be reducing. The current should be reducing, but the capacitor makes sure that no, I I am charged now, so I have some charge. I have some current. So this current is supplemented by the capacitor just as if the capacitor was a battery. So that current is given by the capacitor to the resistor and thereby it means that this, this current which earlier it was moving but now it is not moving and now it is smoothened and it will go like this. And this current is basically kind of a bit of a hyperbolic variation so it goes like this. Okay and after that it connects here and now when the voltage in the other circle, in the other cycle becomes bigger. So the AC source takes over and so it becomes like this. And after that, again, it is smoothened out and again, it goes like this. And again, it is smoothened. Again, it is go like this. Again, it's smoothened. Yeah, like this. So in one case, you were having this kind of a current and the other case, you are having this kind of a current. And obviously, this is how the current is smoothened. So this is what is happening because of the capacitor. Mind it, this piece of information is very important. Like in this section, in this section, like from A to B, the current is taken from the source and the capacitor is charged and the current output is given in the resistor also. But when I'm talking about A, B to C, at that time, the current is not coming from the source. The current is actually coming from the capacitor and it is going into the resistor. So it's only capacitor which is giving the current. So that is why it is a hyperbolic variation. It's not actually a straight line. So it goes like this. So it keeps on moving in this manner. Okay. So this is what is called the smoothening of the curve. And that is why C option is correct. So I believe that you people would be uh, able to understand what is happening here. This is a full wave rectification, but this is all, this is known as bridge rectification. So this is kind of bridge. That is why it is known as bridge rectification. Okay, dear students, so with this, let us see what is the answer given in the mark scheme. Yes, the answer is C. Okay, dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, you can join the YouTube channel if you want to, if you want to have the access to all the paper two questions. I have started uploading them, so start joining the YouTube channel. All the best.